Hello everybody, Sparks to 1701 here. We're taking a look at the last of the individual guys for this Wreckers Combaticons month. We're taking a look now at Twin Twist and Brawl. And I gotta say, out of all of them that I've gone through before, this set is probably the batch that's going to disappoint me the most, just by looking at them so far. So, hopefully the combiners during our next video will be, truly be the def definition of saving the best for last. Let's take a look at these guys individually and see what we can learn from them. Okay, first up we have Twin Twist here. And Twin Twist already disappoints when compared to his Generation 1 form. Only in the sense of what they've changed on him. Twin Twist was a jump starter in the G1 format, which meant that you could pull... It was powered by a pullback motor in his tank mode. So you'd pull him back, he'd roll along the floor, and then his legs would kick out and flip the robot up into a standing position. However, more often than not, when the legs would kick out, he would either lay flat on the floor or fall flat on his face. But his alternate mode consistently was a twin-drilled tank. Unfortunately, this time around, because of the way they've made these guys up, he is just a standard tank. However, to pay homage to his G1 form, comes in the form of his extra weapon here. See what I tell you, he falls flat on his face. He just, the two, new one just did. Is we have this twin drilled cannon of sorts. As you can see it has a little gun popped up here on the back of it too, which kind of looks dumb to be honest with you folks. But, however, this is how it activates its power function. By pressing down on the gun, it will cause the drills to rotate. However, it does not work for rapid succession all the time. If you're not careful, it will. Sometimes it has a tendency to jam, but that could be since this was brand new. And these past few moments, we've been able to keep it going, so... Maybe it's just because it was brand new. Now, stand our bad boy back up here. And, of course, let's take a look at his other weapon. There he goes again, flat on his face. Somebody hit the Energon before we got started. Here is the other weapon. It's some sort of heavy-duty looking gun. Kind of almost reminds me of a long-barreled Magnum handgun. Either that or I've been playing Resident Evil a few times too many here lately. Otherwise, it's not bad. Now we stand him back up, and hopefully we can get him to stay upright for this. I believe he's a bit on the top-heavy side. Okay, there we go. Now he's... Famous last words. Alright, forget the, forget the standing. Let's take a look at him. Unfortunately, he doesn't have much else to pay homage to his original form... The original toy was predominantly white, with a brighter blue chest area. As you can see, he is mainly a neutral blue, or something bordering on dark blue. It's like a blue-gray color, and orange, and this color combination really doesn't look all that great. Anyway, let's take a look at his articulation. It'll be the same on Brawl. You can turn their heads from side to side. 
The head is on a ball joint, so it will rock back and forth a bit. You can raise his arm up about so high. And you can rotate the arm at the shoulder all the way. He does have a joint at the elbow, so you can bend his arm at the elbow about 90 degrees. And he does have a swivel at the bicep, so he has the G.I. Joe battle grip. There's also a bit of articulation here at his wrist, which allows you to move his hand up and down a bit. Due to the way he is designed, he does not have the ability to twist at his hips. You can spread his legs out to do a full split, but it's kind of seemingly useless due to most of the tank kibble being on his backside there. You can raise his leg up to about 100 degrees and bend him his knee likewise at a similar degree. So quite an impressive range of motion here for Twin Twist. And of course we'll reach over here and we're going to get his card backer stand against the wall. And here's the card art for him and frankly I'm not really impressed with it. He almost looks like somebody that's been caught doing something they shouldn't be doing. You know, kind of that deer in the headlights look. Not really the most attractive look to get somebody to buy this toy. In the back here you can have a look at what the tank's going to come out to be. And notice this time around Twin Twist is done as one word instead of two words like the G1 version. Now, while there's nothing wrong with it being done this way, I think a hyphen would have been better than making it one word. According to the bio, no one's really sure why Twin Twist joined up with the Autobots instead of the Decepticons. He's a barely contained ball of rage that lives for chaos and destruction. In battle, he engages the enemy without mercy. Back at base, he sulks, argues, and occasionally goes on a rampage and destroys things for no reason. And again, that's an homage to the Generation 1 era toy, as his bio did proclaim him as something of a uncaged wrecking ball. But he did have the support of Optimus Prime, since Prime did believe in him as a noble Autobot, despite his tendency to want to drill his drills into every place he could. Moving right along, let's take a look at his tech specs real quick. It gives his strength as 8, his intelligence is 4, his speed is 5, his endurance is 7, his rank is 3, his courage is 8, his fire blast is 9, and his skill is 4. So, if you're looking for somebody to be the strong, dumb brute of the team, I think we've got him here in Twin Twist. Now, let's bring out Brawl and take a look at him. Hopefully, he'll stand up a little better. Okay, here we have Brawl. And he's obviously sober enough for this review, because he's standing still. Brawl's done up here in a green color, which pays some homage to his G1 toy. The G1 toy was done in green, but it was done more in a dark green. More that you would expect on a military vehicle. This is a bright green that's starting to border on neon. And neon colors didn't sell well for G.I. Joe in the 90s, and I don't see that working for the Transformers. 
But of course, when you take a look at it on the card backer here, as you can see, it looked like on the, the prototype toy, he was intended to be a darker green. But when you turn it around here to the front, to take a look at the front picture art, he's done up in a somewhat brighter green. Plus, he seems to be holding Roadbuster's extra gun. Meanwhile, back here on the back side, let's take a look at his bio. It says, it's possible that the rage that drives Decepticon Bruticus to his untold feats of destruction is contained entirely within Decepticon Brawl. Barely contained at the best of times, this brutal bot's anger is unleashed on the battlefield, turning him into the eye of a storm of devastation. And that's a bit of an exaggerated take on his G1 form. Yes, he was a bit of a destructive force, but I don't believe they wrote him out to be this bad. Anyway, let's take a look at his stats. It gives his strength as 9, his intelligence and speed are 4, his endurance is 9, his rank is 5, his courage and fire blast are 8, and his skill is 3. So again, he plays the dumb brute pretty well, but he's got... A few things that work out a little bit better in his favor, but not a whole lot. Alright, now, let's get these guys into tank mode and see how they turn out. Especially since it doesn't look like Brawl wants to stand up now. Now we have the two of them here in their tank modes, and... Gotta say, their tank modes really don't impress me much, folks. And I know they're trying to go with a futuristic-looking tank, and that they probably have succeeded with. But, the general look just doesn't work for me. I mean, I'm more used to seeing treads, and while we got fake treads here along the sides, they're kept at the side, not on the ground so it leaves me to wonder does this thing hover or something at least if nothing else the turrets do rotate and that's the big thing you really want out of your tank there's even a spot in between the cannons where you can mount the regular gun and just to show you that twin twist can turn his turret as well the only real downside is, is I would have really liked a spot to attach this to. You know, it would have been nice if they would have made some way for this to be mounted on the front of Twin Twist here, so that that way he'd be somewhat reminiscent of his G1 form. I, mean, I don't know how they really would have done it, but it still would have been a nice thing to have done. Now we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of them? Out of all of them that I've seen so far in this set, this group is obviously the worst. I don't really like how the tanks turned out. Because I'm more, I think, of a treaded vehicle as a tank. And while these guys have treads, the way the instructions have them... Their treads are showing at the sides, not at the bottom where the tread should be. So it leaves a little bit to be desired. Their color schemes really aren't that great. And again, since we don't have a way to mount the drill bit here onto Twin Twist, we can't even do anything with him to make him something of an homage to his G1 toy. So, out of the two of these guys, folks, I gotta go with Brawl as being the better, as being the favorite, since at least he's got enough to bring him close to his G1 counterpart. 
But again, that's just my opinion. Anyway, that concludes my comparison of Twin Twist and Brawl. I hope you all enjoyed it. But it looks like, again, we skipped out on Brawl specs. I will be so glad when this month is over. We got his strength at 9, his intelligence and speed are at 4. The endurance is 8, rank is 5, courage... No, we already did that. Bloop. It's time for a break, folks. At any rate, that concludes the review. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed more seeing me flub this up. <laughs> if you like the video, drop me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, drop a... Hit down there and hit that subscribe button so you can join up within our ranks. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos. Hopefully we won't flub them up as bad as this one. <laughs> at any rate, also share this video with your friends. I'm sure they could use a good laugh at this point. And share your thoughts about Twin Twist and Brawl in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying during our next video, we are going to merge all these guys into their final form. So we got Bruticus and Ruination, the second wave of them. So look forward to it, and I'll catch you all later.